Welcome back to our United for Math series on area and perimeter. In this lesson, we'll be doing some problem solving with area and perimeter, where we're either missing a side or missing the area and given the perimeter, kind of like problem solving or clues, almost like a mystery for students. That's how I like to apply it to them. That way, they're instead of just doing math, they're like detectives. So let's look at some of these clues and see how we're gonna apply those formulas for perimeter and area that we've learned in our previous lessons to these new complex mysteries. In this first example, a rectangle has the perimeter of 38 feet and the length of 11 feet. What is the area of the rectangle? So we have 38 feet as one of our numbers, and then we have 11 feet as our other number, and we're talking about what is the area of the rectangle, but it's not giving us, us the length times the width, so we're not gonna be multiplying 11 feet times 38 feet because this 38 feet applies to the perimeter, and that's the distance around the shape. So we know that if we have perimeter, that's equal to two times side plus two times side, and that is equal to 38. And now we know that one of those side lengths is 11 feet. So if we had a rectangle here, now I don't know what shape the rectangle is, I'm just gonna draw one out, but if one of the sides is 11 feet, and I'm applying the area formula, then I'm gonna have area is equal to 11 times something, and I don't know what that is. So that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Always go back to that question because that's what you're trying to figure out. They've given us a lot of different information here. When students are dealing with problems like these, they're going to be multi-step. So they have to be really organized, write out those formulas and equations, and then start applying what they know to those empty spots. So let's go back and figure out what to do next. So now we've made a model and we have our equations. Now let's start applying this knowledge. So we know that one of the sides is 11 feet. So that means one of these S's is 11 feet in our perimeter. So that means we would have two times 11 here. And two times 11 is 22 plus 2s equals 38. Now, parents, teachers, we're all gonna wanna start jumping in and using some algebra here. But we don't wanna do algebra quite yet. So we're gonna take 22 plus 2s equals 38. And we're gonna say, all right, if the total is 38, let's subtract what we do know. So 38 minus 22 would be 16. Now, we have 16 is going to be what this two times side equals. So if we add both of these sides together, it's gonna equal 16. So what we have to do now is split or divide this 16 in half. So 16 divided by two is equal to eight. So I know that eight would be this S or these sides. So now I can fill that in for all the sides. So I have 11 feet, 11 feet, eight feet, and eight feet. But that wasn't the question. The answer isn't eight. It wasn't what's the length of the missing side. The question is, what's the area of the rectangle? Always have students go back and reread what they're actually trying to accomplish. So we have to find the area of the rectangle. Well, we already wrote out our area formula. Area is a length times width, or 11 times eight in this case. So that means the area of this shape is 88 square feet. So that was a lot of steps. Solving this mystery, we have to use a lot of those different clues and put them inside of our formulas in order to figure out what we're looking for. So in that case, we had to first find the missing side using the, air, or the perimeter formula, then apply that into our area formula to find that area we were looking for. So let's look at our next problem, which might be a little bit different. In this example, it says the area of a rectangle is 24 square feet. What is the perimeter? So that means the area, so length times width is going to equal 24 square feet. But we wanna know the perimeter, which is the distance around a rectangle. So I'm just gonna model a rectangle out here so I remember what my formulas are. So perimeter for that is two times side plus two times side. 
So how are we going to apply this just knowing the area? In a problem like this one, students are going to need to know that there could be multiple answers. This is when we go back to factors. We're going to have to find the factors of 24 in this problem to figure out what two numbers could be multiplied together or to get those side lengths that equal 24. Now, if your student is not comfortable with finding factors or factor pairs, please go back to our lesson on factors and multiples in a previous series. So let's go apply that factor knowledge right now. So we know when we're multiplying two things together, we're going to get 24. But there are more than just two factors for 24 because it's a composite number. So we need to figure out the factors of 24 first. So let's use our factor umbrella that we learned about in factors and multiples and start finding those factors. 1 times 24 will be my parameter. Then I have 2 and 12. And I can have 3 and 8 and 4 and 6 and then 5 doesn't work so those are all my factor pairs. So any of these factor pairs would work to find the answer here because any of these numbers multiplied together will equal 24 and that's where students might have separate or different answers. So if I applied say let's take 3 and 8 let's say that that is what we've decided on. So 3 times 8 equals 24. Now I have to apply that to my rectangle. That means I've decided that the length of this triangle or rectangle is 3 feet. And then 8 feet would be the other side. That's what I'm saying I've multiplied together to get 24. But the question they're asking me is, what is the perimeter? So now that I know these two, I can use the perimeter formula to find out the perimeter. So P is equal to 2 times 3 plus 8 times 2, or 2 times 8. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 8 times 2 is 16. So 6 plus 16 is, let's line those up so that we can add them in the correct place values. 6 plus 6 is 12, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 22 linear feet, or just 22 feet, would be our perimeter. This type of problem, since there are so many pieces and so many of our previous skills that we're applying, we really need to have a lot of practice. So give your student as much practice as possible finding out these mystery numbers. So let's take a look at one more example. In this example, it says the area of the shape is 9 square feet. What is the perimeter? How would you classify this shape? So we have some different questions here. So we know the area of the shape is 9 square feet. So we need to first find the factors of 9. And then we're going to figure out what the perimeter is. So we know that we have 9 square feet and we're working with rectangles. So that area um, formula is length times width. And in this case, the area is 9. So we have to find the factors of 9 first. So for factoring out 9, we have 1 times 9. 2 doesn't work, nope, and then we have 3 times itself. So my factor pairs are 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. So I can use either one of those. So I'm going to go with 3 times 3 in this case. So 3 times 3, all right, is going to equal 9, which is my area. And now I need to apply that to my rectangle. Well, if I have 3 times 3, then, oh, well, that's the same distance around. So we'll put 3 on all the sides apply that perimeter formula, which is 2 times 3 plus 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 6 is 12. So my perimeter in this case is 12, go back to my unit of measure, feet, not square feet, remember, because we're doing the distance around. And since now we have 12 square feet, but our other question says, how would you classify this shape? Well, it's 3 by 3, and if I think about what I know about quadrilaterals or four-sided figures, I could, I could say it's a quadrilateral, but this one's a special type because this rectangle has the same length sides and all rectangles have 90 degree angles, so we could classify this shape as a square. That example even applied more of our previous knowledge. And in that case, it was quadrilaterals. So if you're not familiar with that, please go back into our geometry series and check out classifying quadrilaterals. 
So in this whole series, we've been looking at those formulas, utilizing perimeter formula of, of two times side plus two times side, and that area formula of length times width, and applying them to finding those area and perimeter of different shapes. These have real life applications when we're looking at doing flooring or yard work. There's a lot of different ways that we can portray this to students. And if they're struggling, use hands-on manipulatives, draw things out, use the floor, cut up pieces of paper so that they're able to see and feel and really get a hold of what area and perimeter are. I hope you enjoyed this series on area and perimeter. Thank you again for joining us at United for Math. We'll see you in our next series.